Hey everybody, this is Skyler, Product Manager for Responsive Ads. Today we're going over a new template. This is the Shoppable Video Template. Uh, this is a unique template because it has a video uh, combined with a carousel uh, with shoppable units. And so the slides animate onto the canvas according to specific keyframes in the video. Um, so let's get started and show you what it's all about. First, a preview. The user clicks play and shortly after seeing the products in the video, they appear in the carousel at the right. These slides animate according to keyframes in the video. Once you're in the editor, there's a few things we want to show you. In order to edit any of the elements, we need to turn the animation timeline off. Next, we're going to show you how to replace one of these images. We're going to navigate to slide one. Underneath product, we see image. Now the image isn't uploaded directly to this element. The image is referenced somewhere else. So we need to go find where the images are. We'll navigate to the bottom and see where it says add images. This is where we upload all the images contained in the carousel. You can replace your image here for slide one. Next, the brand panel logo. We're going to open up the brand panel, select logo, open up its settings, and here we can see the brand logo. Replace as needed. Now, let's explore the background panel. We're going to open it up and see that we have a hotspot, a gradient, text, overlay, and a background image. Watch what happens when we turn off the background image. This can be replaced, as well as the background panel hotspot. This is so that if the user clicks the background panel before the slides have animated, it will take them to an external URL. The next step in the process is to upload a custom font. We can do so by navigating to one of the titles, selecting it, and then selecting the font drop-down menu. From here, at the bottom of the menu, you can see Upload Font Kits. Click that, read the prompt, acknowledge that you've read the information, and then click Next. Drag and drop your font package, which must be a web font, in the form of a zip file, then click Upload. Let's take a look at the animation timeline. We're going to pull up the animation drawer, turn on animation, and notice how each of these little diamonds represents an event, a keyframe, which animates the slides into view. To change the behavior associated with this keyframe, we're going to select the event. Here you can see the time that it's triggered. Click Edit Event. Here we have the slide group, and we have it selected to animate to slide. So this will specifically trigger slide one to animate into view at the keyframe. Now let's show you how to replace a video. We're going to open up the video panel, select the video, go into its settings, and click replace video. Select a video to replace or upload a new one. Then select preview rendition and ensure that autoplay is selected underneath the player menu. This will ensure that the video plays even in Google Chrome browsers. Whenever a video is replaced, the animation timeline will still be referencing the old video time. Because this video is longer, we'll need to reset the video. So we'll uncheck video and check it again. Notice how the timeline is the entirety of the video. We'll also need to reset the previous and next buttons. These are the arrows on the sides of the carousel. 
we'll make sure that they extend for the entirety of the video. The last step in this process is to set the easing to instant. That's all there is to it. That completes this tutorial.